Are you looking to get a great workout in today, but all you have is some light dumbbells? Not to worry, I'm gonna be putting you through a 20 minute workout that's gonna bind some light dumbbells and some body weight movements. Let's get started. <laughs> Welcome back everybody, I'm Sean LaFlock from Flock Fitness and if you are new to the channel, Flock Fitness is all about exercise, wellness and fitness for the aging athletes. So if that is what you are looking for, hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Now I know what you're saying, all I got is a light set of dumbbells, I can't get a great workout in. Not so fast. Today I'm gonna to be putting you through a workout that is only gonna require some light dumbbells relative to the individual. We're gonna be going through some different exercises along with some body weight exercises that's guaranteed to get your fitness fix for the day. If you are looking to jump straight into the workout, click to this timestamp here. Otherwise, we're gonna get started with our warm up right now. For our warm up today, we're gonna to be starting off with some plank variations to get our core activated, shoulders ready, hips in the right position. So let's get started in a front plank position. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds from the knees, just nice and easy and begin. When we're doing our front planks, we're gonna be keeping our hips tucked so our bottom is tucked, we're reaching away and we're holding this position for 20 seconds. We're gonna be popping right into a side plank from the knees right after this. So we're continuously moving. Your warm up does not necessarily have to be a, uh, you know, stretching and all that kind of stuff right into your side plank. It can be some basic core movements that are using your entire body so that it allows you to warm everything up all at once and you don't have to take as much time. Again, this is a 20 minute workout, so I wanna give you the most bang for buck. So we're doing these front and side plank variations. Switch over to the other side, going side plank from the knees. Knees are down, elbows underneath. And by the way, if this is your first time going through the workout, feel free to pause, go back, rewatch it, no big deal. But for those of you, this is your third, fourth, 10th time watching it, you're gonna thank me for the fact that we're not having to stop in the middle of this. Back to your front plank position. This time I want you to do it from your toes. Going from your toes. So we're keeping our hips tucked, pushing away. Don't over peck it, so don't shrug. Just a gentle breath away. <sighs> keeping those hips tucked. Legs are straight, feeling our core and shoulder muscles. Three, two, one, and switch. We're gonna to go to our side plank variation. Take your top leg, stagger it in front of your bottom leg, lift up from here. If this movement is too challenging for you, you can go back down to your knees. Going for 10 more seconds, then we'll switch over to the opposite side. Maximizing time and efficiency is what this workout is all about. Three, two, one, and switch right over to the other side and begin as soon as you get there. I love plank variations because it allows you an opportunity to find your positions, feel out your body for the day. We're gonna go back to our front plank position. We're gonna do it from our hands this time. Three, two, one, and switch. Going from our hands, tuck your hips, reach through your shoulders. Make sure your shoulders stay over the top of your wrists. You're not pushing back into a down dog position here. Feel your arms and wrists supporting you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go to your side plank and let's go ahead and add a rotation. Rotate. Upper body's rotating, that lower body is staying nice and steady, creating a good foundation for this rotation. Beautiful. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch it over to the other side. Elbow underneath and we rotate. Incorporating breathing is really, really important here. Love it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let's move into our first exercise for the day. Now that our warm up is finished up, let's go into our first exercise the plank hold with tricep extension. For this exercise, you're going to take your light dumbbell, place it underneath your shoulder. You're going to find a plank position from here. Reach with the opposite hand, row the dumbbell back. From here, kick back, and then nice and slow, controlling that range of motion on the way back down. Let's hit this for 12 reps per side before we move on to our next exercise. Let's get it. Plank position, reach, row, hold it, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. To make this a little easier if you need to, bring your feet out a little bit wider to create more stability. Make it harder, bring those feet in just a little bit. Again, you're only using a light dumbbell here. Reach, tuck the hips, and here we go. Row back, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Take a seat on your backside. Get into a dead bug position with your knees bent to 90 degrees. From here, you're gonna have your elbows reaching away from your body. Bring your right elbow across to the opposite side, and then extend your opposite leg, hold for 30 seconds. We're using a core exercise here with some breathing. Opposite arm can be down by your side. We don't wanna use it to kinda of help us at all. We're going across the body, using the lower abs here. Get a nice breath. We call this the dead bug cross connect, holding for 30 seconds aside. We're gonna go back to our tricep extensions as soon as we're done here. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go right over to the other side. Begin. Good, so your opposite leg is extending, elbow going toward your knee. Hold it right there. The great part about this workout is that it's complementary. The exercises are complementary. You're not going to be using redundant um, muscles that are going to make it harder for the other exercise. You're gonna be using other muscles so the, other, the muscles that you were using on your original set give a chance to kind of recharge and refresh. But we're maximizing our time and efficiency. Three, two, one, and relax. Again, if you need to take a little bit of extra break, pause the video and then jump back in as soon as you're ready. We're gonna go back to our tricep extensions again. We're gonna go for 12 reps per side. Take a breath, tuck your hips, find that plank position, and here we go. Row back, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Commonly I'll see people throwing the dumbbell and using momentum. Control that tricep extension. This is light weight. You should be able to control that range of motion. Let's switch it over to the other side. Plank position, reach, activating that core. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Let's go back to our dead bug cross connects. Lie down on your back. Dead bug position, feet are at 90 and 90, legs are at 90 and 90. Reach your right elbow across over to the left knee and then extend your leg, hold for 30. If you can't get your elbow all the way to your knee, don't worry about it. As soon as you feel that core activate, you're good to go. You don't wanna let your lower back lift off the ground here. You wanna keep the core activated to a point where your lower back is flat to the ground. We're halfway there. <sighs> Breath helps reach. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over to the other side. Cross connect. Elbow goes toward that knee. Breathe out. <sighs> Good, pulling the knee up, elbow down. <sighs> 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome work so far. Let's go after those shoulders next. You're gonna go ahead and take a seat. Your legs are gonna be up off the ground in that boat pose. Still something from a little bit of the yoga community here. You're gonna have your arm out to the side and you're gonna be raising that dumbbell out to the side while we're keeping our core activated. So this isn't a core movement, but we're gonna use that light dumbbell to give us some resistance. I don't want you flopping around side to side. Keep it under control. We're going 12 reps per side. Grab your dumbbell, feet off the ground, arm out to the side. 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's flip it over to the other side. If your feet happen to tippy tap off the ground, no big deal. I ain't going to tell anybody. Here we go, everybody. Feet up and 12, 11, 10. Good work. Nine, eight. Keep your feet off the ground. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is one of the more challenging movements that you're going to do. If you need to grab something even lighter than the dumbbell that you have, even like a water bottle, that's perfectly fine. You want to be able to do good technique, feel your core activate, and feel those muscles working hard. Let's go into a half kneeling position. We're going to be doing a dumbbell chop. In your half kneeling position, you're going to feel your back pockets tucked down. Think about this back hip being square. And as you're doing that, you're going to hold a good position and we're going to be lifting that dumbbell up and across our body, feeling core activate, feeling shoulders activate. Key here, don't let yourself lose your lower back position. Keep that core active, keep your hips tucked, and let's go for 12 reps per side. Grab your dumbbell by the ends. Here we go, up and over your shoulder. 12, control on the way down, 11. 10, arms stay long, 9, 8, 7, 6, low to high chop, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's switch it over to the other side. Same idea, 90-90 position. Tuck your back pockets or your belt buckle coming up. Grab your dumbbell by the ends, up and across. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, feeling your shoulders, 2, and 1. Awesome work. Take a seat, we're gonna go back to our boat pose with that dumbbell lateral raise for 12 reps per side. Feet up off the ground, opposite arm out to the side. And here we go, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Moving it over to the other side. Feel free to pause the video if you need it. Get yourself in a good position, nice tall position. Don't round your back. And here we go. 12, 11, using this light dumbbell. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna go back to our half kneeling chops. One more set. 90-90 position. Keep yourself nice and tall. Hips are staying tucked. Grab your ends of the dumbbell. Here we go, everybody. Good. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, I am feeling this, okay? Trust me, this is a challenging workout regardless of using heavy or lighter weight. Opposite side, let's roll. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So our next exercise here is going to be a front lunge to reverse lunge, and we're gonna be doing this for 10 reps per side. If you wanna just use body weight here, there's no shame in that. Having these light dumbbells make it even harder. So we're gonna be doing a forward lunge, 
and then stepping back into a reverse lunge. The idea here is that there should be no significant pauses between the two lunge variations. And if you wanna make it even harder, you're gonna stay nice and low as you're doing this to maintain tension through that posting leg. As I said before, we're gonna be doing 10 reps per side. As soon as I clear my eyes of some sweat, we'll get going. 10 reps all on one leg. Let's start off with the forward lunge. Here we go, forward and back, 10. Nine, eight, feeling our butt, hamstrings, quads. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, everybody, and one. Whoo, walk it off, shake it out. We're gonna go right over to the other leg. Again, pause if you need it. Going forward first. Step and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, push off your front heel, keep yourself upright. Two, and one, Woo! Go ahead and rest for a second. The other exercise we're gonna be pairing up with this, side plank with power raise. How are you gonna do this exercise? You're gonna take your top leg and stagger it in front of your bottom leg. Similar to what we did in our warm up. The most challenging version, Lift, arms straight, and raise. If we need to go from the knees, stack from this position here, 12 reps on each side. Again, perfect technique is what we're looking for here. If you need to drop it down to the knees, that's perfectly fine. You're gonna be feeling your abs and the muscles of the upper back because we're keeping that arm nice and straight and feeling that shoulder blade move on our rib cage. Let's roll, 12 reps per side. Find your plank, lift up, 12, you're not using tons of weight here. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If you hold perfect form there, whoo, is that challenging? Here we go. Full disclosure, everybody, my nine month old is down for his nap. I got 20 minutes to get my workout in and I'm doing it with you here. So if you got a newborn or you're ducking out from work for 20 minutes, I'm glad you're here with me getting this in. Here we go, arms straight, reach. Opposite elbow is reaching two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, four more, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome work. Remember, something is always better than nothing. What you're doing right now is better than anything that you would be doing if you're sitting on your rear, sitting on the couch, laying on your butt. This is so much better than that. One more set of these lunges, one more set of the power raises, and then we're going to call it for a day. Let's get after it. Stand in the center of your mat, stepping forward to begin. Here we go. Forward and back. We're going for 10 reps. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three two, and one. Go to your opposite leg, here we go. 10, nine, eight, upright, push through your heel. Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Awesome part about this, guys and gals, you're on vacation, you need to work out, you don't have any equipment, you have your water bottle, a couple water bottles, a couple water jugs, a couple books, knapsacks, that's all you need. Don't need any fancy equipment for this workout. So that's why I'm doing this with you. Last set per side, and then we're calling it quits. Here we go, side plank, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Opposite side, this is it. Gut check time, come on, you can do it. Lift your hips up, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Feeling your upper back, three, two, abs, and one. Heck yeah, everyone, heck yeah. Really nice job. Hopefully you have found by doing this workout that you're gonna respect those lighter dumbbells and you're gonna respect the fact that you don't need heavy weights or fancy equipment to get an unbelievable workout in only 20 minutes. If you like this workout, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, why not hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Last thing, I wanna know, what do you wanna see for the next workout? Is it abs, is it upper body? Do you wanna work your butt and hamstrings? Leave it down below in the comments and I'll make sure that our next workout is geared just for you. I'm Sean LaFlock with Flock Fitness. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.